As we are into the heart of winter and slowly approaching spring and getting excited for warmer temperatures to be on the horizon, more and more people have been asking questions about the seasonality of sleep. And there is a lot of research showing that sleep patterns do change throughout the course of the year. Most of the time we'll see people are generally sleeping more in the winter time and less in the summer. People will equate that to hibernating, but what is really happening? There are actually a number of factors that are happening. So for instance, we know that light plays a significant role in our sleep. Whenever it is light out, our optic nerve sends messages to the suprachiasmatic nucleus, our sleep switch, that says it's light out, be awake, it's dark out, be asleep. We know that in the winter months, many times it seems to be darker much earlier. And for many people, when there is less light, we have more of that inclination to sleep. Even the way that light impacts how our body is producing certain chemicals, which is why we see when people are on screens all the time and having a lot of light later in the evening, that can, for instance, disrupt their melatonin production. So we see that as day length changes for how much light we're getting, longer days in the summer and shorter days in the winter, that can play a role into feeling that we're sleeping longer in the winter months. Temperature can also play a role. Outdoor temperatures can affect our bedtime and our wake time. The air quality, when it becomes drier air, sometimes that can be harder to breathe at night. People may end up sleeping longer because their bodies are more tired because they have to work harder to get that air and that breath and to be able to have full restful sleep to get through all the restorative sleep that their body and brains need. And we also know that vitamin D can play a role. So we can see vitamin D levels dropping in the winter time when we're having less light exposure, which can also lead to decreased sleep quality. We see from a duration standpoint, people do tend to sleep longer in the winter and less in the summer. Sometimes that may be because of the activities that are available for people to be outside and to be active and to be doing. And we also see that your age, your gender, even where you live can play a role as much on your sleep duration, how much sleep you're getting. We know that from a REM sleep specific component, that's where our brain is healing and repairing our mind, our cognitive performance, emotion regulation, the majority of dreaming occurring, that from REM sleep, this most active stage for the brain, it's usually that we see higher amounts of this and levels in the winter time and lower in the summer. And REM sleep, the onset for that, so how quickly we're getting into REM sleep, ends up being shorter in the wintertime and in early autumn. But for our deep sleep, where we see that slow wave sleep where our body is healing and repairing, it tends to be that that is also can be decreasing as we start to get into autumn and into the fall. So if we want to be improving our sleep quality, we want to, for instance, consider a humidifier to deal with that dry air to help it make it easier for our body during our cold and flu seasons and for the drier air. Try using bright light therapy to be able to help. Some people will actually use light boxes or things to be able to mimic daylight to help our bodies to know and have that cue to be awake. Some people will take a vitamin D supplement. That is something you'd want to consult with your prescribing provider for. And many individuals will try to avoid alcohol a number of hours before bedtime so that the body can help to regulate on its own. Be well.